Hey, YouTubers. I'm going to help some of you guys out running FT8. You see that guy? He's running tons of power trying to get DX on an FT8. <laughs> and that's a no-no. Uh, Max, you want to run, guys. I'm going to show you here because this is what you're going to get. That guy's just bleeding everybody out right what there call. oh what to call look at that but that guy's bleeding everybody out okay this is a no-no it's happening over here too you guys need to learn about ft8 ft8 is made to run at low power or lower power okay and if you're pumping power into it you're killing everybody on the band if you're running more than 75 watts, then you're running way too much power for FT8. Okay, guys. I got my radio set to 50 watts, okay. Running it on my magnetic loop outside, heading east and west, okay. And that's all you need. Now, if you notice, I set my ALC you don't want that ALC blaring way over here, okay? What you're doing is being too loud. That's what that does, okay, guys? When you're cranking your ALC up like that, and sometimes it'll even uh, it'll even uh, get wider. It'll get wider streaks in it, like that. But that guy's running too much ALC, okay? This is a good one. This is a good one. These are good ones. These guys are all running a lower ALC, okay, a lower ALC, see how my ALC comes on, I just barely get to three and let it drop into one, you just barely want that ALC, now if you don't have ALC on your radio, I'll, I'll give you a little hint, watch your power meter, okay, if you're, if you, if you can see I got mine set for 50 watts, when it transmits and that ALC, if you don't have ALC on a ra on your radio, watch the power meter, okay? It'll call. tell you how much of this to put in, okay? You, you Once you set your power on your radio, leave it alone, okay? And then if you don't have ALC, watch your power meter, okay? You see mine's transmitting. My radio is set for 50 watts and I'm getting 48 out, okay? With that low ALC and my power pretty close to what the radio set at, okay, One then you're going to look about like this on the FT8 scale, okay, guys? Not like that. <laughs> that guy's trying to run 400 watts or something, you know, 500 watts on FT8, and he's killing everybody. But that guy's got too much ALC, and he's really loud. When you Your ALC is how loud you are, okay, on there. You don't need to be really loud. Uh, the design of this software is low power, lower power. I'll tell you that. Because you can go up to about 75 watts or 100 maybe. But um, I've talked, and I'll show you on the screen. Uh, I'll show you my stats. But I've talked over 5,000 miles, guys, on 50 watts. Okay. I did get 75 watts. And I caught the edge of Australia. He did contact me, but we couldn't finish the QSO. But that was, that's the only time you want to pump up your power. Okay? Is if you've got somebody real far out. If you're trying to talk in the United States with everybody else, just kick her down to about 50 watts, 40 watts, even 25 watts. I've set 25 watts with that mag loop right here on my floor and done FT8, guys, and talked to California. Okay, of 25 watts. <laughs> and that antenna out there was inside. So, uh, the outside give, would give me better receive and transmit, of course. So, that's, oh, we got one. Look at there. Haha, uh -huh. great. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, um, but that's what I wanted to show you guys. See, this, this is nonsense. You quit. Quit trying to use your DX power to, to try to transmit on FT8, guys. Quit that. Shut that stuff off. Just use your radio. That's all you need.
Okay. See, I'm 50 watts, and that guy is uh, over in California. And that's just 50 watts. And you can see my receive. Uh, I sent minus 5. He received me at minus 10. Minus 10 on this scale looks about like that. Okay? To give you guys a reference. Okay? That's about minus 10. That guy right there is running plus. Plus 2, plus 3, plus 5 in there. That's how loud he is. Because he's running ALC. Okay? Alright. So, let me reset this. We got another one. All right, so we'll set our CQ back on and we'll run her again. Okay, now what, watch what happens, guys. When that transmits, okay, if you don't have ALC on your radio, you want it. You want your power to be just about what, just a little lower than what your radio is. You know, if you know your radio is transmitting on FM and everything, and it's dead right on 50 watts, like mine. It's a little water too low, okay? So, if you keep your, your wattage, transmit wattage, close to what your radio is, okay? And uh, you, can, you can play around with it uh, uh, as far as the power bar, bar here. Once you set your power here, okay? Set your power there. Then, you work this lever, okay? Right here, up and down. And if you see your power drop, start dropping below your 50, then I'd probably start leaving it alone. You're going to make contacts, okay? But if your power is like 10 watts below, yeah, you're, you're not transmitting. Your ALC is not transmitting enough. So you need to get your power close to on your watt meter to what your power is set on your radio, okay? All right, guys? That if, in case you don't have an ALC. Some guys don't have ALC, so... Uh, but they, if you don't have ALC, that'll help you. So, but this is how you run FT8, guys. This is it's that stuff right there is nonsense. You you don't be running 400 watts, 300 watts, 100 watts is maybe max if you're trying to get out here to Australia or someplace like that. But if you're just calling CQ, you, you leave your, your radio down, guys. Leave your radio down on on you know get that power down. You don't need it. Okay, FT8 is designed for low power, lower power. Um, if you want to go QRP 5 watts, good luck to you. Uh, I've, I've tried it. it, it you, you, you barely get a contact unless the propagation's running. So, just to let you guys get a heads up on that, <laughs> for me anyway. Now, if you have a higher antenna, you might do better. But that's, uh, when I got up, I've been running this all day, guys. At uh, 50 watts with my ALC just peaking right there, you can see. Okay, stays it right at 50 watts, 48 watts. That's just fine. You'll make contacts all day long like that. Okay, but you won't be like that guy that was running. You know, this is what you want to look like right here. Okay, right there. This guy, he, he may be farther away. You know, he's not running much ALC or. Uh, maybe it's the propagation, you know, but uh, that's what you want FT8 to look like, guys. You're on your end, and the problem is it's hard to see what you're doing because it don't show you. Uh, you know, see that guy's running too much audio, too much ALC. Okay, that's where you need. He's really cranking it out, and you don't need to. But for you guys that don't have an ALC meter, you can do it by the power. Okay, right here. Because I still use this right here. Once I set my uh, radio power, I leave it alone. Because what will happen, see, I'll, I'll be sitting here, right, ta and and finish the QSO. I'll jump over here and try it, and after I catch one here, and uh, it'll move my frequency here, okay? When that happens, your ALC is going to move, okay? Because my radio really works good right there, 2,000. Oh man, I get a 1.3 uh, standing wave with it. So, and down there. That's why I leave it right there. <laughs> so, uh, let me jump out of there. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, you know, well, I'm glad I caught that. Because I wanted to show you guys about this. You don't need power. Um, see, he's running a little bit too much audio. You can hear it screaming. 
Okay, let me turn up the radio. You should just barely hear that. Just that little wee. And then you'll hear some guy come in there, man, and it'll be wee, or it'll be just blaring. And that's because he's running too much ALC right there. He's running his ALC up there in the 5, 7, and 9 range. And that's what you get. It's real loud. Hear how much louder that is? That's terrible. And that's just because he don't know. He, he hasn't learned how to use FT8. And that's what that is. You hear how low that is? That's what you're going to sound like right there. That's what you're going to look like. Okay, and that's what you want. You don't want that. You want this. Hear how louder it is? That's, that's just not what you want. So... That's a little hint for you guys there, okay? For running your FT8, okay? And I'll give you another another little hint here too. See how this screen is? It's got a little bit of population there of signals coming in. So that's whenever you can sit and hunt. That's what I do. I sit there and hunt. And it tells me one and call, one and call. And then you just try to click on it. But if your screen's kind of empty, you got one or two guys in there. That's it. That's when I call CQ. Because that's that that you'll get guys that are sitting there listening and they're not calling cq <laughs> so but when it's really busy i always catfish them i always try to uh try to get them click on them and i hunt them okay but whenever it's not a lot of signals in there uh what i do is i call cq i'll sit on a frequency that i know my radio works good on and i get a lower standing wave and boom i call cq from there and that's how I do it, guys. Uh, you know, this is this is what you want to look like, or this right here. This is not bad, okay? But not blaring like that, okay? You're running too much AOC. I see guys doing it all the time in YouTube videos. One, you only need about one or three. There's another one. <laughs> but um, you only want. Uh, I, I don't. I never go above three. And uh, well, let me show you my map. Here, guys. There's my map of contacts. And I never go above three on my ALC. And that's my furthest one right there, guys. F f over 5,700 uh, miles right there. Off a magnetic loop in my yard. <laughs> right there. That's my furthest one on the log stat log i've been trying all day to get this guy he's been on there all day and he keeps flashing in and out in and out and i've hit i've got him a few i caught him one time and he rogered me back and that was it and we never we never finished so that was running 50 watts guys or actually i'll take that back i did kick it to 75 watts whenever i was trying whenever i was talking to him and, and contacting him it was on 75 watts right there okay because it was, I was trying to go out of the country there. That's a pretty long, far, far distance right there. So um, that's the only time I do it because I don't want to be blasting. Uh, let me show you. You don't want to be blasting guys out right here because you're trying to get your DX contact. You know, you got to have some courtesy there. So, um, uh, but most people know if they're looking at their map, see, it'll show you, hey, this dude's trying he's trying over here in australia there so um you know you kind of pay him some some courtesy too look how far he's trying to get you know so um but if that dude's sitting there trying that for half an hour that's ridiculous but you know that but that's pretty much what i do guys you can see all my contacts i've gotten 50 watts uh, and the furthest ones are about 75 watts okay this one was 75 watts this one was 75 watts, okay? But if you go to 100, you're going to start blaring people out. Uh, I, I did not make a lot of contacts using 100 watts. I'll tell you that right now. You're just, especially local, you're just blaring over them. <laughs> so, to give you guys an idea of that, I wanted to explain this so you guys could see you don't need uh, power with FT8. Get the power off. Don't use your amplifiers. Don't you don't need that, okay? 
50 watts. That's about all you need. Okay. 75 maybe if you're trying to go out of the country. Okay. If you're trying to get the long ones. I kick her up 75 in the morning time whenever the, and this is the contacts I've got using 75 watts. Okay. Anytime I'm in, if, if you, you can see when the DX is not coming in on FT8. So, uh, that's whenever I kick it down to 50 watts and you can see all my contacts, you know, 50 watts. Look at all of them. And I'm just peppering, you know, I got these today. That's awesome. I haven't had a lot of East Coasters. So the propagation was working today. So, but I'm just loaded, you know, with DX here. Okay. And I got this guy here too. <laughs> and, uh. But uh, that's my, you know, my DX contact map. Uh, and that's just using the mag loop, okay? And then, uh, you know, I wanted to show you this, guys, because you don't need to do that. You don't need power, okay? Get the power shut off, okay? And um, definitely uh, try to run your ALC. Or what you want to do, you can tell when you're running this power meter up, okay, guys? When you run that power meter up, your your power is going to go above what your radio does. And that means your, AO, your audio is too high, okay? So if you're not, if you don't have an AOC, then this is how you tune your, this is how you're going to tune. You're going to hit your tune button, set your radio to your wattage, hit your tune button, and then you grab that little power butt bar right there, slide her down until you see your wattage start going away from what your radio set at. Okay. And then while it's still going, you go above that. Okay. And you'll find a point when your wattage will stop, but that bar will keep going. All right. Your wattage will kind of, kind of hover maybe. And then uh that but that bar will still keep going okay that's way too much audio okay so what you want to do is what i do is turn the bar down okay and i'll show you here let's let's click on the tune okay i got my wattage set to 50 watts okay actually i'll set it to five because i may leave it on for a while showing you this all right it's a good wattage to test with, okay? So I'm gonna hit the tune button, okay? Now we're tuning, 4.66, okay? See where my ALC is? That's hitting a really high for me, okay? So now I'm gonna hit the, the bar and I'm just gonna scroll with my mouse down, okay? And when I do, watch that wattage. See how it goes down? See how it's going down? See now, no, what, no ALC. Okay, so watch as I scroll up, you'll see the ALC come in the radio and the wattage. See how we're getting close to 5 watts right there? Boom, now the ALC came in. So you, the best way I can tell you to tune that is watch your watt, watt meter if you don't have an ALC. As soon as you get really close there, I'd go about 1 or 2 bumps on that above and you'll see... ALC is just right where you want it, okay? Just by going off the power, okay? So, watch the, that's the best way I can explain it. You know, you want your power rate, your power meter, if you know your power meters, you know where your power meter, everybody's is different. You, every radio guy knows their own, or every radio woman there. Sorry, you don't want to leave anybody out. And, um, you keep that power close to what your radio set to, five watts. Okay, and as soon as you hit that, there you go, that tune, that, if you go and start to go above, watch, I'll take her way above, shoot that ALC way out the window there, right, see how it's going above, now watch, I'll scroll, watch the meter, one, two, three, four, see how it's still staying right there, look at where the ALC is on my radio, see how it's still up in there, now, as soon as it starts to go below four and a half on my meter, that's whenever I know that my, my meter is about, it's about a half a watt off there. So see, so if I keep it at about a half a watt, that ALC is perfect for, for uh, looking like that. That's what you'll look like right there. If you got your ALC just peaking, 
on the radio, your power is all set, then that's what you'll look like. Okay. Okay. You'll just be a nice little bar there. You won't be so loud. See how loud that is? That's over modulating onto somebody else's frequency. You don't want to be that guy. <laughs> don't be that guy. Okay. You guys need to learn how to set the FT8 up off your radio. Okay. Just want a little bit of ALC and close to your power. Okay. So if you don't have an ALC, that's how you do it. You, you look, watch your power uh, meter and you run your bar. Okay. I'm constantly moving my bar, guys. This bar right there. Because as soon as you connect with somebody here at this frequency, all right, and then you, you automatically jump up here to this guy. He's, he's transmitting over there, right? Now you're all the way up here. Now all of a sudden your settings are changed, okay? It will change them. Watch, we just tuned it, right? I, all we did was change frequency, okay? I'll hit the tune button. Now look, there's no ALC. Look how low the wattage is. See? So you're always, you guys are always going to have to tune with this power bar right here, okay, to keep your wattage. If you don't have ALC, just do your wattage. Watch. I'll show you both. I watch my ALC meter. You watch the power meter if you don't have one, right? I'm scrolling up. Scrolling that bar up right there. Getting close. See how we're getting close to our 5 watts? Whatever your radio is set to, whatever your wattage, kind of keep it close. And look, that ALC just peaked in there. See, I can go up a little bit more. Boom, now the ALC is just peeking in, and we're close to 5 watts. See, so all we did was move the frequency from there to there, and that changed it that much. So you're always going to have to be adjusting this, okay, if you're transmitting. So, there you go, guys. A little hint on how to run FT8. Okay, you want to have fun, run uh, 25, 30 watts on FT8 and uh, see if you can uh, pick people up. And what I do, this is what I do, is always look at what your return, uh, your return feed was right there. Okay, your return frequency, I was R received at minus 10, you see. That's what my level was. Minus 10 on this screen is going to look about like that. Okay, that's what it's going to look like if you're minus 10, if somebody's receiving you. That means you're right in the butter zone, really, to be honest with you guys. That's pretty good. So, uh, just so you guys can see that, you know, you guys can see how it's done and how to set your radio. If you don't have an ALC, how to set it with your power meter, okay, using your watt meter, just by using that bar right there, okay, and how to get you close. And you'll start getting a lot more contacts than if you're blaring everybody out. Nobody's going to click on you. Okay? <laughs> and so I see guys on FT8, you know, or on the YouTube. Man, I can't get nobody to, to contact, and I can't get contacts. And then you find out he's running 200 watts, 300 watts. <laughs> so that's not cool, guys. You don't do that with FT8. More power will not get you more contacts. It'll get you less contacts here. Okay? That's the rule. That's FT8, guys. So, anyway, that's the best way I can explain it to you. If you don't have an ALC meter and you're just running your watt meter, okay, then that's that's about the best way to do it. Tune it with the bar right there. Because once I set my radio, I know I, know I don't touch it. I'll leave it alone usually unless a, unless a contact comes in out of, out of country. Then I'll reach over and turn the power up. <laughs> and then I'll click on them. And try to get them but I don't leave it up that high I don't leave it above I always 50 watts is about my go-to because if I go below 50 sometimes I won't get the contacts up there in Canada uh, a little further away they just can't hear me so um, but you know that's propagation too guys so but you can tell I get a lot of contacts uh, out of kind of, that's my furthest one that's distance guys right there <laughs> so but yeah, the mag loop likes D the DX, and uh, and I love using it. It's awesome. It's the figure of eight for ten meter. It's not the big loop. It's the figure of eight. But I still use the big capacitor to tune it. So uh, that's what I use over there to tune it. 
and it drops my standing wave down. So hopefully that'll help you guys out with FT8. Um, you know, I hope you get that'll help a lot of people out. You know, quit running the power. You don't need it. You know, 25 watts you can talk cross country, easy. Okay, but you know, if, uh, yeah, I I I push mine to 50 watts, and that may be too much, but I'm using a magnetic loop, and it's a little different than a vertical. Okay, so uh, magnetic loops work different. <laughs> but anyway, that's the, about the best I can tell you how to how to not look like an idiot throwing every, all that signal out there, and that's what you want to look like right there. Okay, right there. So that'll help you tune if you don't have an ALC meter. And if you do have an ALC meter, use it like that. Don't go above three on your ALC, guys. You don't need it, okay? Just a rule. So anyway, I hope that helps. And hit your like uh, button or your likey button here. <laughs> Subscribe. Definitely going to do that, too. So anyway, I hope that helps, guys. Help you tune it. And uh, uh, once you get it up and running, you'll enjoy it. I love it. I like catfishing them. So... Uh, anyway, hope you liked the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, 73s.